Hey everybody, welcome to today's update on Daily IoT. I promised a little demo of the Docker build system that I put together for building my firmware through a Docker container uh, so I don't have to hit the particle cloud. And so uh, I just put something really quick together. Um, it's not a full explanation of how it all works, but I think you'll get an idea of, of what that process looks like from the little demo that I put together. So um, let's just hop right into it and show you that now. I'm in my project directory here, this hockey stat tracker folder. And you can see I've got a Docker file which creates the image that I do the builds in. And I also have this Docker compose YAML file. And then my source code's just in this source folder here. And so let me just show you really quick what's inside the Docker compose. You build up these services. And so I have a build firmware service and a build app service. Um, and all that does is says use the maker crew particle build image that I have built and posted up to Docker Hub. I'll put a, uh, I'll put a link to that down in the description. And then I'm going to mount in the firmware, the particle uh, source code um, into the container and map it to this uh, forward slash particle source. I'm going to make the working directory the modules folder. And then I'm just going to call make clean all platform equals photon. That will build the raw firmware for a particle photon. So that's gonna be the system parts of the firmware, not your user application. For that, I have this build app service, which is very similar. It uses the same image. It mounts the particle source again, but also my source, this dot slash, and it maps it into this app underscore firmware folder inside of the container. And then from the main folder in the particle source uh, area, I just call make all platform equals photon and then app dir equals that forward slash app underscore firmware directory that I just mounted in. And that's all I have to do to build my application. To do that, I would just do something like docker compose. It will automatically take the file, the docker compose.yaml. So I don't actually even need to specify that. I'm going to say run remove the container when I'm done. And the service that I want to run is build underscore uh, app. And if I have everything correct, I believe that's all I need to type. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And you're going to see it's going to go through. Now, I do not have git installed in the container, so I get these git command not found. I'm not actually sure. I haven't dug in enough. I don't know what the particle build scripts are doing with git on every single step because you'll see this a lot. Git command not found, git command not found. But it actually doesn't affect the build at all. You don't actually need git once you've already pulled the source code in. And like in my case, I'm mounting it into the container. So it's all there. You don't actually need git. And that's it. You can see it dumps that uh, output out. If I do a, let's do a clear here. I now have this target folder that wasn't there before. And so if we just CD into that, you can see I've got all the output from the build and I actually have this app underscore firmware dot bin, which I can then use the particle CLI just like normal particle flash. And then I just do USB and then I can say, um, from right here at firmware uh, dot bin. And as long as my photon is in DFU mode, um, which is the breathing or flashing yellow mode that you can get it into. I can, I can use this to program it directly onto my device. And so that's it. I didn't have to touch the particle cloud at all. It all happens within my Docker um, container. And so I don't have any of the dependencies installed on my MacBook. And so I can transfer this to any platform. This would work on a Windows machine or a Linux machine for building your firmware against the uh, particle source code. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I'm using the 0.6.2 version of the firmware, but because, let me bring this back up, uh, my, my compose file here. I gotta go up a directory. Show you the compose one more time. Because I'm mounting the firmware in, I've got this as its own Git repository on my, I'm on my machine, so I can actually check out any branch of the firmware source that I want. So I can change this to 0.6.3 or one of the 0.7 builds or even one of the 0.8s and I'm good to go. I can still build just fine all locally. I just need to check out the version of the particle firmware source that I want 
and then just I use uh, that to build against my application against. And so uh, that's it. Not much to it now that I have it all put together. As an extra bonus, I actually just alias this to a command that I say build puck. So if I click that or hit enter on that, it'll do the same thing. It'll go through and it'll build my firmware for my application. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so pretty cool. I have full control now on my local machine to build against whatever version of the particle source that I need to and can play around with changes there and I never have to hit the cloud of particles having some meltdown or issue that will not affect my development process. I can build everything locally. I can program locally without hitting the cloud, which uh, I think is really handy for building a product. So uh, really excited about that. In other news today, Particle announced Particle Studios, which I haven't read everything about yet, which I, I need to maybe tonight. Um, but from what it looks like, this is a program for people looking to make products to be more tightly integrated with the particle folks. So getting help, uh, having them it said things like code review and design and architecture of uh, firmware. And so I think just it's in particles best interest if your product succeeds and is built uh, well, I'm sure they've learned a ton by helping the several um, dozen people that have made companies already around their devices and that probably compiled all that together and are looking to share that to make other people successful. I love how they continue to innovate around this idea of helping people go from maker to product, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. So I, I don't know if I'm high volume enough to be of interest to them, but I sent an email out and said I'm definitely interested in knowing more about this. Uh, so we'll see if I hear back. Uh, but really cool, Particle Studios, I'll put a link down in the description. You can check that out and read more about it. Question of the day. Uh, we're using Docker as our build environment. I mentioned there in the little demo that once you're using Docker for something like this, you, you get cross-plat for free basically. You just install Docker and then now you can just use the image and the container to build firmware. So this will now work on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So question of the day is, are you a Mac, Linux, or Windows user? Uh, some people do multiple. I do all of my dev work uh, on a Mac, both personal and at work. Uh, and so I haven't used a Windows machine in years. Um, and Linux, eh, I don't know. I, just, I like the Mac for some reason. I'm not sure. I know it's super expensive and I recognize that. But um, anyway, what is your platform of choice? Mac, Windows, or Linux? Stick it in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time. I can't get it out of the package. I got it.